off the pitch, the floodlight work got underway in Wednesday, and I believe it's quite a, a complicated process. Are you able to sort of tell us a little bit about what's going on now and what's going to happen over the next week or so? Yeah, we finally got underway on Wednesday. Uh, obviously, we'd ought to get the Barnsley and the Warsaw game out of the way. And we've been trying to schedule the work around the fixtures. Obviously, we need the lights, uh, at, you know, for, for games, uh, particularly the night games. Um, not sure we needed to have them on on Saturday, but that's another story. Uh, referee put his 10 bob in the meter and wanted them on at 2 o'clock for some reason. Um, but what we've done is we've scheduled them after those games, bearing in mind the Gillingham game. But the other little complication that we've got is that uh, at Sandy Lane end we've got two towers and one of them houses Orange and Hutchinson 3G mobile mass whilst the other one's got Vodafone and O2 on it and what you have to apply for is outage to actually redirect the signal um, when you're working on these towers and each company's got different term con terms and conditions that you've got to uh, comply with in terms of the amount of notice period that you, you give them um, and so we, we've been having to sort of strategically plan that as well. Um, and when, when we originally scheduled the work, we were looking at basically two days per tower um, with some groundwork in there as well. Um, what we found is that we're, we're generally running at sort of two and a half stroke three days per tower. So again, we've had to reschedule and uh, contact the mobile phone mass to people to, to change that and what we've also been in our mind is that on the Friday before Gillingham we want to make sure that we've done a test and that everything's working so that there are no problems on the Saturday. So Tower 1 is going to be completed today uh, so that's Friday, they started on Wednesday but again we had a little bit of problems because we had a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain and believe me you do not want to be up there. Um, working at those heights when uh, it's raining or that there's too much wind. Uh, so that's probably cost us maybe half a day this week. But we'll move on to the first tower at Sandy Lane, which is what we call the Orange Hutchinson 3G Tower, which is the biggest, thickest tower on site uh, that you, you can see. Uh, hopefully we'll get that done by Tuesday and we'll assess Tuesday night whether we're actually going to go on to the O2 and the Vodafone mass, which is the one nearest to Wilberts, uh, depending on weather, um, because we have got that time booked in as outage time with those companies, uh, and probably finish off at Pearl Street after the Gillingham game, and it might be that we have to do two, uh, two towers after the Gillingham game, but of course we've got a Tuesday and a Saturday away game, so uh, we've got plenty of time. And all the time we're trying to feed this information back to the Football League, um, because we had a dispensation up till the end of September, so we're a little bit behind schedule, but uh, work is underway now. It seems like a massive project for us, isn't it really? I mean, how many months of planning has gone into to actually get us to this stage where we, we can get the work mm -hmm. done? Well, it's something that we've, we've known we've had to do for a while, um, because the regulations were changed a number of years ago. Um, but we, we have... Uh, really scour with the market to make sure that we've got the best possible prices and I think we've ended up talking to something like five or six different companies over a period of time um, and once we did actually finalise it there, there's literally weeks and weeks of planning gone into finalising that because uh, the electricians that we've got are coming down from Scotland and they're meeting up with riggers uh, who have been sourced locally uh, by our project management team and not forgetting that there's a significant amount of money, you know, we're talking sort of £50,000 that's gone into this, of course 30000 of that's been provided by the Trust, for which we're really very grateful. So I'm pleased for them because they can now actually see that the money is going into something and if they come out now and have a look, that they'll see two guys that are sort of 200 feet in the air putting brand new lights on. And what you will notice actually, uh, particularly if you come up now, is three of the towers I think have got 16 lamps on whereas the new one uh, has only got 10 but then that just sort of demonstrates uh, how uh, technology has developed over the years because these are going to be more 
give off more light but burn up less energy so it's all green 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 stuff as well you know